it's gonna be like a classic story. Like once, especially since Falco is a little bit slower uh, in the air, uh, it, then uh, then Wolf and Fox uh, getting in is gonna take all, a little bit more time. But once he is there, then we get to see the whole the full Falco special unfold. And we already saw two lasers coming up from Dilda. So. Oh no, oh no. Okay, like stuff like that scares me every time. Every time for Dilda. He got the one though. Yep, yeah, he got right that. We're here, it's even. Oh, the like, Tribeca Film Festival? Oh god. <laughs> he, got, he got him with the Film Festival, bro. At <laughs> the Tribeca? I'm gonna make it a thing. Um, We did. And, um, one thing that I just saw totally do twice already, I think, uh, what do you call it, Fox, um, Phantasm or whatever, on oh, the yeah. ground, yeah, the Phantasm on the ground would be useful to Falco. Yeah, I don't think it's- <gasps> She gave him it anyway! <laughs> he saw it! <laughs> I think you mentioned that, um, in the last bit also, that- and had a tendency to like, kind of work into like that. Yeah, it ha happened in a very similar situation. Uh, neutral got up, roll in, and uh, he uh, died to. <laughs> he, 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 he caught one and he died. Uh, it and feels, feels like Tilde is starting to figure his way through the spacing that. Uh, the new type of spacing that Minmin provides. Uh, always early in the game when he would run off these, the platform with things like Nair. He was always a little bit too close to the center to catch Min, Min uh, and slam would outspace him by being closer to the corner. Now he's overshooting a little bit more. He's leaning himself more towards the corner and he's getting a lot more reward off of it. Oh, the Tribeca! The Tribeca! <laughs> Did he make it? What is he? Okay. okay, man, look. I understand. So Tilde is just not. He just doesn't care. I think I understand his strategy. I don't care. I don't care. Like, and I, it, honestly, but it also it's his approaching. He's he's been approaching a lot from the top smash to top, and um, that's something that he hasn't he hasn't directly approached anyone this whole game. So I think that's important right now. Like, especially on platform saving going forward. Uh, till day's first pattern. Yeah, like we're seeing a lot more utility, or we're seeing a lot of him use uh, Megawatt more after these early percents. Uh, well, Megawatt is great, and Falco is very light. Uh, in a matchup where your Tilde is almost constantly jumping, Ram Ram, you just need Ram Ram to cover space. Like it boomerangs back and covers basically from the edge to the Smash 4 platform by itself. And you're not doing as much damage, but you don't need as much damage to kill Falco as compared to Snake. Yeah. And I, I think also something that we're seeing... Oh, okay. I, I think something that we're seeing also is that... Um, okay, Tilde... Tilde has been... Yeah, I just think Tilde has been, like, approaching high and recovering really high. Just like Sensei was doing, and like Sorry, you said before, Minmin can't come out of shield and throw a diagonal arm, right? And Tilde knows that. Minmin can't just throw out a diagonal arm, so he's taking this these approach options, kind of attacking her at, at angles that she can't really punish him or really anti-air him that hard. Like she's throwing out phantom nairs, and right now, Slam hasn't been throwing, throwing out those phantom nairs like you saw against like maybe somebody like Gatsby or Sensei. Yeah, it's a new breed of offense that you have to work with Tilde, because, well, in the best way to explain it, like, if Sensei is looking for the level 2 read, right, he's like, oh, I think you're going to roll here, and I'll punish that roll. Tilde's like, I know you're going to roll here, and I know you want to roll, so I'm going to punish what you're going to do after the roll in some cases, so I can continue to mix you up and still keep you on the back foot, never let you get center stage, and never let you feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, fuck Greninja, what brought that up? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just... <laughs> All right. A story for another time. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh, and we're... Wait, wait, we're seeing a Palutena? This is not... Three, two, one, go! 
I've heard um, Legend says as Halloween fans. It's not that's what this is what I hear. Halloween. I don't know how true it is, but ah. I guess I can see that with all species. Like Palu does. Palu, oddly enough, is at her best playing against uh, zoners because she can counter zone super well, and she doesn't have to care about a lot of burst options that they may have, but predictable burst options, because she can space dashbacks and bears uh, in uh, big frontal spots. But Falco, while his neutral may be a little bit linear and very much player dependent, right, yeah. his advantage is so swarming that Poutan sometimes can't keep up with just the sheer like air-to-ground kind of pressure that Falco can put out. But at the same yeah. time, Palutena is Palutena. And, and you know what? You know what I think it is? It's that like Palutena thrive off of making people jump and punish them there, right? That's why they always tell you don't jump at Palutena. But think about Falco. Uh, Falco, is, Falco doesn't jump at people. Falco, a lot of Falco's combos can start off the ground, so he doesn't need to do that. And he could pretty much play the ground game against Palutena really well. Or Palu spells in the air game against them. But it's like, man, if he doesn't give you a chance to do that, then what's the point? Yeah, I see what you mean here, like, and how almost the immediate incorporation that Tilde uh, brought in what you said, like, he's, he's keeping a lot more, he's keeping his boots on the ground, he's going for a lot more of these up tilts, these down tilts, and when he's in the air, like, when he runs on that platform, it's a lot more falling aerials, or runoff aerials, yeah. he's not trying to give himself any opportunity to be caught by, like, Palu Nair, or any of the Palu starters. Oh yeah, and that, and like that's kind of the playbook when you fight against Palus. Don't you don't really want to make the first move against Palus, but usually Palus kind of force it out of you. Um, but at the but also you don't really want to jump, it, jump at Palus like that because it's there or forward air or any of right? Yeah. Um, if Palu an inch and she'll take a mile, but oh, yeah, if, if, no if there's anything we know about like making <laughs> making a mountain out of a molehill, it's if Falco can do that, just all the same. Real quick, can we just talk about how um how they decide beat into Palu and Palu throw out a dash attack and it clicks and Palu can just get going? Are we gonna talk about that or is it just gonna do that? Look, <laughs> these phantasm buffs are a whole new beast. Like they are it's, it, it feels almost like instant offense for Falco sometimes, more so than uh, Fox Illusion is for Fal for Fox. And it's a, it's a hell of a drug. <laughs> he did it again! He did it again, bro. Oh, what are you saying? Got a no. But uh, it's like, I understand, right? Like, I understand why you're trying to roll in and get out of the corner. Cause not that Tilde has been doing when you're in the corner. Like, he likes to throw out forward airs right there, right? Yeah. He'll throw out a forward air and just be like, alright, do something. And that's conditioning. And now he's just like, word, roll in, up smash. Stupid. And that's what happens. Like, oof. Yeah, it's it's kind of like you're approaching like when when Tilde's in that situation, he's thinking, what can I do here to win the game? What can I do here to take your stock right now? while Slam is thinking like, man, what can I do to get out of the corner? And he's in a lot of situations, especially at high percent, you have to kind of consider like, I'm in disadvantage. What do I do to not die here? As opposed to thinking about it in a very straightforward track of like, I need to get out of the corner. And Palutena doesn't have a terrible offstage game. She doesn't have a terrible corner game thing with things yeah. like back throw uh, and dash attack just to bust your way through immediately. So, like, great job of Tilde just, like, analyzing his options and, say, and knowing that it's, like, I need, like, a common option here is to roll in, and I know what I can do to win right here. Oh, did he just give up? Um, so, maybe. like, so, like, I don't know, maybe he might, I don't know. I'm the best guy in NYC, so I don't know who, what, what he's doing. But, like, thing is, <laughs> Can't hold again. So another another thing about what Tilde's doing with his Abby, Abby on the ground is faster than side beat in the air, right? So, what he's been doing is... Are you talking about Sometimes, sometimes he's been doing side beat on the ground, and then sometimes he's been doing side beat in the air. Right? And kind of mixing up, like, how... Like, how this works. Yeah, just a little bit of a short hop to mix things up, and... I know this is... 
I know this might be like a like a fold of, in some manner, but if you're gonna fold, why fold with oh. Ganon? <laughs> yo, why do you do short hop double lasers? Oh yeah, okay, so I'm doing channel. And we, we, we talk about like we're talking about like yo, what you do not on the like, you're not a bow, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need that, please no. Yo, I think it, I'm telling you right now, I think I oh, I've been saying this since the game inception. If they gave Falco Brawl Lasers, I'm 100% playing Falco. He'd be a standard. He'd be the best spacey. Period. Oh. And, arg and easily. Like, not even debate in the top 10. Uh, I don't know. I, I think he's good. He'd be top 20, not the top 10. The only reason I say that is if Falco is still going to go with the wall. That's fair. He doesn't have the he doesn't have the same, like, kind of chain grabs he does, but... Man, like, Brawl Lasers are something else. On top of... On top of everything he can do, when he's in, he now has a tool to make you approach. It's like, oh man. <laughs> okay, let's be happy with something. Let's be happy with something. Uh, right now, <laughs> okay, just, you know. He's doing his thing. He's waiting out cannon. And that's what you need to do. Again. Honestly, that's what you need to do. Again. Um, because the thing is, if you most of most players in this game, if you engage with the meat, right, and if you start engaging with Ganon like that, you're gonna lose. 100%. Like, this hits hard. Um, the up smash is actually pretty bad. Um, I believe his up smash is like frame 10. That's that's really good for the reward you get off of it. Uh, I have time to check up on frame better right now. Yeah. He's still making it, that's wild. Um, the up smash is pretty. Those stab is like frame. Okay, he's always had a no, I'm lying. Out. I'm completely lying. This up smash uh, is frame 20. I am drunk. Wow, okay. I think the last half is. Yeah, that's, that's not nearly as fast. It's still like really solid because of just the area covers, but it, it's not it's not Smash 4 uh, up smash, which is kind of nuts. Yeah. Smash 4 up smash is really toxic. Because it, it was fast. Move was fast, it was safe on shield. Um... Oh! What the hell are we watching? <laughs> okay, you reacted and that. didn't roll away. You deserve that. Oh my god, if you did that... <laughs> yeah, what into that quick? Nobody deserve that. Nobody had to... Oh, you should've let him do that. Yeah. Nobody did that. deserve that. But, damn. What was that? Oh, oh, this is a grand finals. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Slam Jamicus. I guess he figured out pretty early, like, oh man, the, the Minmin's not gonna cut it, the Powie's not gonna cut it. Those are, I assume those are the two best characters he's got, and, you yeah, know, this was a, an entertaining fold, but a fold nonetheless. Yeah, yeah. BGs and only BGs. Yeah, we're on Wi Fi. BGs. BGs only BGs. and always. Only <laughs> Wow. Um, I mean, that, that's so crazy, right? <laughs> what the I don't know. Like whether or not these are they're, they're GGs or BGs, uh, to watching Tilde like express the limits of his character, and while he's not like going out there on social media every day and like stating, "Oh, Falco is a top ten character, and here's twenty reasons why." He's just proving in his play. He's just pushing the limits of the character, pushing the limits of himself. And it's like, this is, like, there's so much more that Falco's capable of, especially after, what was it, 8.0, that it's impressive mm -hmm. to see him, like, just kind of invalidate, invalidate players and invalidate characters. Let's go, Tilda.